Hello everyone and welcome back to CLG TR channel. Today I will show you guys a new lovely anime eyes with a glossy look, a kind of sparkle with medieval pen pro. So now let's start it. First, you can see I create a sketching here. I draw in the circle and divide into half. For the top, I also divide it into half again. And that will be the line. I will make a curve like in here to draw in the upper eyelid. For the lower eyelid, just a horizontal line is enough. And then uh, from the top in here, I will create another curve line and connect all of them together to create the thick upper eyelid. So that's it and now of course you don't forget to draw the pupil inside the eyes in here and for this style I want to remember about the place that I intend to put something sparkle and glossy so that's why I create draw the area that I intend to uh, do it later and of course here the pole eyelid and the eyebrow so that is all about the skating here. You are finished for this. Just the same as usual, I will lower the opposite of this uh, layer and I will create a new layer here to start the light work. So uh, here I'm using the watercolor brush to create the soft look. Uh, it's not will have the soft feeling just as in the G pen. So with the watercolor brush in here, you can increase the opacity of that brush to make it look darker. So that's it. And start to light your work. So carefully to draw everything, every line in here and flip it if you uh, feel uncomfortable when you draw in it. And then you're done. You know what I'm doing right now. That create a new layer that below the layer layer, so I can paint the skin and create a shadow. Now I create another layer, so the layer four in here, and I will use that to uh, paint the, the upper eyelid color. It will be separate layer with the layer is uh, the layer that I paint white place in here to create the. Uh, feel for coloring the eye. You already know about this, right? So what I'm going to do here uh, in the separate layer in here because I will work in the upper eyelid later. Uh, so now you can see that I already create a new layer. That's the layer 10 in here uh, and choose clipping so I can create a shadow inside the eye. So that's it. Just use the watercolor brush or G pen or uh, any pen here to have a thicker brow, uh, thicker Feeling, and you pick the white color to uh, create a shadow. Now you can see that I already create a new layer. That's the layer 11 here. That will be the iris color, and uh, I pick two color for the gradient tool, and then I use select tool in here. There's still some part that is not connect, so I use select pen tool to draw it, and then use wand tool to draw the few the field that I will work on and use gradient tool to drag it make it have the gradient look just fix the color in the color wheel here until you satisfy with the result here um, I think uh, that the color is not right I wanted to have uh, more blue here so that's why I, I remove uh, the color into the uh, blue area here and Okay, now it looks perfect for me now. That's what the color that I wanted to. So now we continue to work in this layer 11 and then choose uh, Project Alpha here. You see that? So I can work in the, the area, just the iris area and we'll make a mess with another part. And that's it. Okay, so now I will use the circles tool here to create the, the overall look, the circle look here so I can create the soft, the, the soft, yeah, soft look when I draw in the shadows in here. Choose the darker color, the dark blue here and use that to draw in here. You can see I create the part in here and use paint tool to fill on the part. And that's it. And now, of course, go back with the circle tool here, make it have the oval shape look like this and put it in the middle. You know what I'm doing, that's I create the pupil inside the eye. Use the same uh, dark color in here, decrease the brush size and like this, 
okay now I decrease the size of that circle Saturn and pick the neighbor color to create the look like this uh, then I pick the light color for the bottom here you see it in the uh, in the screen and now I use watercolor brush to pan inside it why I use that because I want to have the feeling that it's mixed together and then I blend it with watercolor wet yeah like this so it will have the trans parents transition look like this right perfect that's what I um, intend to do so now go back with the circle tool here and make it look more rounding uh, I'm trying to do uh, drawing the line that I will draw the perspective uh, inside the eye you know that what the iris we will have in here right so um, first I will draw use the pen sharp here and follow the circle in here so I can create the line of what it will be looking you see here and then I choose perspective snap here and put that so now you pen sharp uh, for this one uh, why because you will know that pen sharp will create the team and the tick uh, automatically like this and it will give you a good result when you use that to draw these things so okay now that's it the result that you have here uh, really cool and uh, what I'm going to do next now is create a new layer and choose clipping choose blending is add that here that is the things that I'm going to do that make the eye look glossy so now I will use pen select tool to create the few that I want to pen things in here and yeah just like you drawing something but uh, yeah you create a few uh, so I use gradient tool in here and pick two color it will be lighter uh, for this one okay here I will move uh, color to another place and then I drag it you can see that it will work in only the field I create with the select tone here yeah that's it and it's too shiny right so I will lower the opacity and you can see tada that's the result that we are looking for that's it make it look glossy so now the same here I will use the pen select tool again remember that you must choose pen tool for this pen select tool because it uh, won't give you the gradient look and it will look sharp and go back to that step create a gradient look like this okay that's perfect and now uh, we are almost done here uh, what we're going to do next is I will lower opacity a little bit because the, the bottom is too shy for me okay so now uh, what, what we do next is you watercolor brush in here in the same layer add here to uh, draw some um, let me see I will create a new layer that is layer 13 at the top because I will work on that later and use add blending so I can create the white things in your eyes the light highlight of the eye yeah that's it choose white color in here and draw it make it look sparkle draw it in draw as many dots as you want in a little bit more in here to make it shine I want to it to look shine more so a little bit here a little bit here yeah okay I think that's enough and now we'll go back to the upper eyelid uh, layer you already remember that we created that before right so now I create a new layer and choose clipping here and use watercolor brush here pick the dark color to pan inside the eyes yeah pen inside the, the eyelid here to create the feeling so uh, you know that in the, the sign here will be the dark place and the, the light will approach at the top so that's why pick the uh, lighter color for the top here and pen 
around this one here you will create a 3d look for this one Now, I also want the eye, it looks sparkle and glossy, so that's why I will pick the highlight color here and use a watercolor brush to paint the few and then the watercolor wet brush to uh, blend it and make it look gradient like this. Just fix something to make it look more naturally, that's it. Okay, now it look really glossy. So uh, you're almost done here. One more thing to do that you will change the light color, create a new layer, choose sleeping, and then pick the neighbor color of the light color in here so it will look naturally like it will have transition looking here. Pick that and uh, pan around the part that you want to change the color for the light color. Okay, look great now. So what we do next is we will pan the eyebrow and of course don't forget to uh, pan the light for the double eyelid in here to make everything look uh, make sense and look naturally. So that is all about this style and that is all about this video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you next time.